Hey, welcome to Soda Beers, Jack of Barbecue. Check out the picanha we did on the Monument Grills. Hey, I'm Craig, Mammy Honey Cameras Jack. Cooking a whole picanha on the Monument Mesa 400. So you saw a previous video of us putting it together, Monument Cenosec Grill. All they asked for us was a video on using it and a couple of short videos on different things we did with it. But I tell you what, this winter, I've been lazy, not lazy, but it's a nice grill. So I've actually used it quite a bit this winter for quick cooks during the week um, with a gas grill on the porch and even when the weather's been bad because Pennsylvania here the weather hasn't been real cold but a little bit rainy at times, uh, a little bit windy at times so it's just been easier firing up the gas grill sometimes to do something quick. But tonight we're going to show you do a picanha. So we're going to do it probably in the middle of the grill, have the outside burners on high, hold that grill temperature around 300 at the great level hopefully, um, warm this thing up to probably about 110 or so, 115, and then sear it off a little bit for color. Issue with Bicanya will be the fat cap, you know, watching how much that sears, but we'll get some nice color on this, and then we'll slice up his individual steaks at the end. So hit it with some uh, kosher salt, maybe about three hours ago. Um, usually I like to do it a little bit longer, but um, just ran out of time uh, for this one. But uh, hopefully, well not hopefully, I know it's gonna be good, because they always turn out nice, but we'll see you on the gas grill. All right, let's get this on. I'm going to put it, it's a bait. I'm going to put a fat cap up because I expect the heat to come over the top, but just got two outside burners right now. Staying a little bit lower because we just had the grill open to get some lighting on it. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to just see where the great temperature is. Um, probe is in the back there now. I um, have these on high right now. I'll adjust that as it goes. We're going to let this get to about maybe 80, 85 before I do anything with it. So we'll bring it back. I'm expecting about 45 minutes for that part. All right, so I left it go to, it got to also 100 because of that fat cap up and boy, it shrank up a little bit, but it looks really nice. And the color on that fat is kind of really what we're going for. The grill temperature, I had the two ends on high and they're still on high. Let me get this flipped right away. <clears throat> um, so the ambient temperature, up until about 15 minutes, 10 minutes ago, it was running um, around 280 to 300 with those two on high. And that's at the grill temperature where you saw the meter pro in the back there. So just going to let this get to about 115, then I'm actually going to do some searing. As you saw, that bottom side wasn't as colorful, but that'll get there once we get some flames on it. But the fat is looking kind of where we want it. All right, so saying we're at 110 right now, so let's see if we can get a reading on here. 106, 107, so getting a good reading on the, the probe. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna start searing this off. So I'm gonna pull the meter probe out just because of the heat. Probably turn these on high, but I already have these on high on the side, so those are ready to go. And then we'll just watch our temperature because I don't wanna go too far with it. So uh, give me a minute here to go get a glove to pull that probe out and we'll start searing. All right, so just uh, turn the, the grates on to Get there, I'm gonna, like I said, pull this probe out. Don't wanna get that, ruin that thing. I right, let that go about a minute there, um, just to see what's happened. But you can tell I just turned these on and the drippings now are gonna catch flame a little bit there. So turn this down just a little bit to see if it knocks that flame down. All right, that was a minute. So instead of me flipping it because of that, the uh, just gonna turn to another spot of the grill, see what happens here with the, with the fat on there. I don't want it to go too much on this, but we'll see what happens. Nice thing with this grill is, got the window here, I can kind of pay attention to what the flame's doing down there. So I'm only in about 30 seconds, but I got a little bit too much flame going on the side over here. I'm gonna get a look at the bottom anyway, so. Okay, with a little flame on the outside over here. It looks like that could use some help. Right, there's another minute. Let's just see what we got going on here. So the color's looking good there. So, picking another spot. And also want to get a reading here. 
do it with my glove hand just to be smart. So that's, that raised to like 115 already in there. Oh, there we got a lower spot. That's all right. All right, so that's a little bit less time too because it was going good and all of a sudden the flames started going crazy on that a little bit. We're gonna let it go a little bit more and then we're gonna pull it off probably here. In fact, I'm gonna turn that burner down a little bit on the outside there because I don't want that to go cr too crazy. But even that one was reading about 108, I'll do another reading because I didn't leave it in long. But um, even if it's at 110, it's gonna rise probably because we went from just warming it up to a real hot grill. It's gonna rise into the 120 until we go to cut into this thing. So it'll be a perfect low end, medium rare to rare for us. That one corner where the fat's hanging off the edge really wants to take off on us. A little grease drop on there. So we're at 110 area, so one more minute, it's coming off then. Because like I said, I think it's gonna have a lot of carryover in this one. All right, let's get this off. I'm gonna cover it up and just let the carryover do its thing. Oh, you know what? I didn't show you a bottom side there. Oh, that's looking, looking a little dark on that one side, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. That's going to be probably a good tasting sear. As always, cheers. Here we are, end of the cook. I have to tell you, I'm pretty impressed, and it takes a lot to impress me when it comes to like cooking certain meats, because we've had pecan before, done it a bunch of different ways. But this picanha on the Monument Mesa uh, 400 really turned out nice. Like I wasn't expecting that to look like what it looked like when we opened up the grill for the first time. But one of the first times after just let it go for till it got to uh, almost 100 degrees before I did anything with it, and then just started searing it off. So some of the parts are going to be almost rare, which again, Jack and I don't mind, and can't wait to cut in this. But just with the fat being up that whole time, got really a nice color. And a nice, it's going to have a nice, probably a little bit of a crisp to it as far as it goes. Got a little char on the bottom again. I think that's going to taste fine because it isn't burnt anyway. It's just a like good hard sear almost on some of those parts just from the flames. But grain's running this way. I'm going to take the first end off and then cut the second steak. And that's where I'll take my bite from today. So uh, let's see how we did overall. Like I said, it rested. So it, it should be. Pretty good. That actually looking uh, like definitely on the medium side there. This is where we should see it though. And boy, is it juicy. Let me get this one out of the way. And you can see, actually, it's really carried over further than I thought. Um, but boy, it looks really good. Let me get this out of the way so I can get a bite here. And take, like I said, now I, since we cut it with the grain, I'm going to cut it against the grain to get a bite here on the end. Super tender though. Actually, the more I look at it here, the more rare it's looking, but not sure what you're seeing on the camera. Mm. Boy, that uh, salt brine, like I said, I want to put the salt on about three hours in advance. I'd like to do it more uh, earlier. Let it soak in more, but actually still has a really good flavor on that crust. So this is going to be good. I didn't do such a great job trimming this one. I don't know if you saw that when I was doing it, but I was kind of doing it quick to trim the fat down about a quarter inch. I'm a little high at spots, but hey, you live and learn all the time. So hopefully you like what you're seeing. Subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell to get notifications when we put a video out, and we'll see you next time.